What is up and welcome back to a brand new video. This time we're in the season, or series finale I should say, for the Germany campaign playthrough. Uh, right now we're pretty much near victory. We just have to research the last few spaceship parts and build the last few spaceship parts. And the war with France, yeah. <laughs> France really made a mistake declaring war on me. But anyway... Decided to destroy that niter production facility thing because it was kind of pissing me off. Well, not pissing me off. I just wanted to make sure she couldn't build any more musket men. And industrial zone logistics, even though I got the last spaceship project guy. And I don't decide to use him yet because I'm almost finished this spaceship part. So I'll just let him complete the next spaceship part because I don't know if production carries over because you can't queue spaceship parts. So I'm afraid I'll lose, like, most of that production if I use it to finish this spaceship part. Anyway, that doesn't make any sense, but that's fine. Paris fell to the Aztecs, but loyalty-wise, they're not going to be able to keep it. Yeah, so I actually decide to move on to Rennes and Marciel. And we found a natural wonder, and our first spaceship part was launched actually bought a few air units because I needed help against France. I had to take all three of their cities or the loyalty would just kill me. Anyway, I decided to rush the moon project and launch the Mars colony. I decided to get some era score with my last governor promotion thing. And now with about four air units, this war, yeah, one shot Rens with an air bomber unit. And we end up capturing the city. Raising it to the ground, actually, because, yeah, loyalty-wise, we are not going to be able to keep that. Anyway, move on to Marcial. Paris is actually about to fall in a few turns, so we should end up in control of Paris. But as of right now, I just want to take out all their other cities, including Marcial, which I could end up doing next turn. And for some reason, I didn't accept this gift because I was just trying to rush through everything. Well, no. It's because I didn't want Spain to win because they were ahead diplomatic victory-wise. Even though they weren't close, they were still ahead. So I wanted to make sure somebody else won this aid request emergency because I think this one ends up giving you diplomatic victory points. I'm not too sure, though. Anyway, Marcel looks like it's about to fall this turn, actually. Pledge broken? Ah, oh, come on. Does it matter? And five-year plan? Oh, yeah. Campus and industrial zone? Yes, please. And I decided to get open borders with the city-state so I can finally move my damn frigates out of Nan Mandol. Anyway, industrial zone logistics. And Paris is actually going to fall in one turn. So I think what I end up doing is... You know, it's kind of weird because I wanted to move my mechanized infantry so we can take Paris next turn. But then I was worried that Marcial would fall to the Aztec. I really wanted both cities, pretty much. Because I'd also get a lot of culture, and that would help defend against Christina's imminent cultural victory. Anyway, communism. Why communism? It gives me science, and it gives me production, which are the two things you need for a science victory. Now, Paris fell back to the French, loyalty-wise. Uh, Werner von Braun. I don't think I need him because I'm almost finished all the spaceship parts. Anyway, Montezuma's mad. Uh, I didn't end up, you know, restarting my friendship with him because I thought the game was over and it really didn't matter. I was just trying to rush through everything. But apparently it did end up matter because of shit that will happen in a few minutes. Collectivization, Night of Conquest, Drill Manuals... And I don't need Defense of the Motherland, but Republican Legacy is really good. I ended up keeping Gunboat Diplomacy anyway. But Communism helps a lot. Especially with the extra military policy card. And Marcial is going to fall this turn. My units moved out of Paris for some reason. I have no idea why. He got pushed out all the way past Marcial. Anyway, I said screw it, I bought a helicopter in Dortmund, and I was actually able to take both cities in a 
I think next turn, actually. No, in two turns. Yes. Anyway, my tourists are the only thing keeping Sweden from winning a culture victory. <coughs> Surprising, because Wilhelm was making a lot more culture than I am. But anyway, Marcial will fall next turn. We have four bombers. Nobody else has any sort of air or anti-air units. So it really doesn't matter, does it now? So yeah, I decided right here that I wanted to take Marcial and Paris at the same turn. So I waited a few turns to get the helicopter in place, and I just took both cities. Anyway, I got some Serenity of Nan Mandol, and I just put an extra envoy into Palenque. Anyway, Paris will fall next turn to the helicopter, and Marcial will fall next turn to the mechanized infantry. Air power really helps you win a lot of these wars. <laughs> Maybe Eleanor should have taken some advice from real-world France. They'd probably have told her how strong air power was. Because they got smacked by Germany in World War II. That's the last joke, I promise. I'm not even going to claim to be Adolf Hitler now. Um, for some reason, all these culture policy things are only taking one turn. Don't understand why, but I'm not bad. Paris is just, yeah, it's too weak. She's making 19 signs per turn. She has no chance against me. Anyway, these boats are ancient, so I'm able to one-shot both of them. And right now I am about to take the city of Marciel. So I just took the city of Marciel, and pretty much France has met her number. I also took the city of Paris. Which helps a lot with loyalty, but obviously, because it's both the AI and Eleanor France, loyalty is going to be an issue, still. So, I don't want to have to deal with Paris, so I just queue up a bunch of useless buildings so it won't bother me. Game's gonna end soon, doesn't really matter. And now it is a race to the last French city. I want to take it. Sort of keep France as a buffer state, I guess, between myself and the Aztecs. Because I don't know what got over me. I just didn't want to... Oh, that's a lot of things. But I'll take them all. I didn't want to make friends anymore with the Aztecs or Spain. I think I ended up making with Spain because... I think an emergency is about to pop up right now. Or soon, anyway. But anyway, I am pretty far ahead in culture, you know, if you take Christina out of it. So we're not doing too bad. But the only way we are going to win is science-wise. It's a good thing we're almost done. Because, you know, this is really the part of the game where the AI, especially on Deity, starts getting close to victory for them, too. So, to Lowe's, I can... I think I can actually take that city this turn, right? Yes, I do. And there goes France. You probably shouldn't have declared war on me earlier. Get a decent amount of air score, keep the city, and loyalty problems are now over because I control France. Got some nice promotions because of it. And I just decide to keep all my units there. Because it really doesn't matter. It's not as if a coalition is going to form against me because I took out Paris because of an emergency. No, that's silly. <sighs> anyway, Christina is now too far behind to win a culture victory. Stopped worrying about that. No one else is close to any other victory type, so we should be fine. I decide to move my air units, who are now getting a lot of promotions. And, oh yes, this is the part where I skipped over about 10-15 turns. So, let me explain what happened. Emergency, military emergency, Montezuma and Wilhelma ended up joining the emergency. So, yeah, I actually skipped a lot, holy shit. I should have made this into another video. But, anyway... 
because nothing else really matters, I'm about to win the game. I'll just explain what happened. So Wilhelma and the Aztecs both joined the emergency. Wilhelma had about 2,000 units. Aztecs had about 1,800. I had about 1,100. So I was at war with both them and Christina. How did that war end up going? Well, it could be summed up in about a 10 to 15 second meme. You got a necklace. Smell like bitch in here. All oh, y'all smell like bitch to me. Why you in my house? Why you at my fireplace and my dinner? Put my mama house on fire because she, she oh, let me oh, come. Oh, so you can join my house on fire. Yeah, they didn't have any air units. They didn't have any military naval units that could keep up with my destroyers. I did end up losing a few ships, I think. Some of these ships that zooming in right now that are out in the open water. But really, you know, she just kept moving her units across the ocean, and I just kept dominating because I had destroyers, missile cruisers, and about four or five aircraft just bombing everything she sends at me. Montezuma didn't even try to send anything at me. I think he ended up sending like two pikemen and then like sue for peace at about turn 15 turns after the emergency was declared. So anyway, I'm trying to pillage this rock band. <laughs> he keeps evading me though. I am not letting him perform a concert. Anyway, Wilhelm is actually Okay, she's not decent science-wise, but she's decent compared to everybody else science-wise. But, yeah, I'm just trying to get to... Uh, what was that last? I think, yeah, I'm about to launch the Exoplanet Expedition, but I don't have the boosters. So we're going to have to wait 50 turns, or hopefully research the boosters, you know, soon enough. Anyway, advanced AI... Finally, I found an off-world mission. That is exactly what I need. I got another great admiral because of all my harbors. And it really doesn't matter what I build right now. I'm just pressing next turn, next turn. We're about to win the game. And honestly, this part is kind of boring. I might just skip to the end of the game. And no, I've already skipped too much. Anyway, thank God I have that super spy. Holy shit. He is the one who was winning this game for me. Ah, Wilhelma, Wilhelma. She actually had a lot of cores and army, so even though her army was kind of like... I'm not going to say ancient, I'm going to say less advanced than mine. Armies and cores really help even out the playing field. But anyway, I am just... I built a mobile sand for some reason, just in case they get aircrafts. And I ended up taking out that rock band sender all the way back to Sweden. And this is where she's pretty much stopped, I guess, sending units to me. Helicopters should really be able to travel over coast. Like, as a normal helicopter, not as like a naval convoy thing. But anyway, I don't have much uranium, so I can't have fun with giant death robots or nukes this game, which kind of suck. But looking at all the victory types, it's 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 pretty much over. Uh, the Sahara is a pretty good natural wonder if you get Petra and you know, wait until the late game, I guess. Two food, two three production, three science, two gold per tile, which is pretty nice. Anyway, close air support on a few of my bombers. Uh, campus research grants, campus research grants. Pretty much sleep. Well, Helm has been defeated. I think Nam Mandel is actually... Is it allied to me, or is it allied... I think he re-allied to Wilhelma. Maybe. So, this is pretty much the end game. We're in the end game now. And... This is honestly getting kind of boring. There is about 10 minutes left, so... I am just going to skip to the end. So, we are at a about the end and right now I think this is honestly the last turn might be the last turn my computer is an absolute piece of shit so it takes a while to register but I think this is the end of the game yep Crusader King achievement and there we go deity science victory easiest victory out there 
Um, yeah, you can't even hear the audio. I forgot about that when making the series. You're not going to be able to hear the audio of the end game. But, yeah, I feel like we actually got kind of lucky this game. Because we didn't have anybody near us. We were able to easily turn out 10 to 15 cities. Get all those Hansas. Get all those campuses. And when it came down to it, we were able to build lots and lots of spaceship parts. Extremely fast and extremely easily. So, victory. Easy science victory. Go to ranking. Got number 9. Eh, it's not too bad. Lek Walasa. As a nation, we have the right to decide our own affairs to mold our own future. Now, looking at the graphs, I didn't do too well buildings constructed-wise. That's usually a good indicator of how well you did throughout the game. But at about 207, as you can see, I was trending up, but then I started building industrial zones and campus research grants so I could get those great people to help my science victory. Anyway, I had the most districts for mostly throughout the game, and player science, it was just, ever since, like, turn 180, it was just skyrocketing. Nobody else came even close. Even Era Square did pretty good in. Culture, yeah, that was... Sweden, Christina did really well culture-wise. Don't know why I checked out governor titles. It doesn't even matter. Here, right here. Units killed. I had a lot of units killed, right? You look at it, I'd estimate about 80 to 90. Units lost, it was about 10. So overall, throughout a game, I had, on average, a 9 to 1 KDA. And that is how you win wars on Deity. You need to kill 8 to 9 units for every one they kill of yours. And that is the end of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. And I will see you all in the next series slash video.